Awesome. Okay. Been a little bit of time. The baby is getting older and more active. Um, anyway, so 3.17 is still around the corner. And for 3.17, I want to hopefully go back to unique flasks. And one of the unique flasks I've been wanting to build it, make a build with is this Cursating Elixir flask, which if you've never seen it before, uh, well, good news. That means you've had pretty good drops when it comes to uniques or your loot filter is just set up that way. Um, but this is pretty awful. It removes all your life and you then recover that life as energy shield over two seconds. There's also Forbidden Taste. Forbidden Taste recovers all your life effectively and then you take a bunch of damage. Degen. So, theoretically speaking, this is a 50% life regen flask if you can pop it every two seconds. But you have this really awkward moment where you get a hit point. That's pretty awkward. But if you can right after that pop a forbidden taste, then you would heal back to full. Now, with the introduction of these flask automations, we can set both of these flasks up with use when adjacent flask is used. So my one flask, which doesn't matter, is triggered, or I use it. Then that triggers my two flask, and that triggers my three flask. What the result of that is, is one second i'm at full life and i that for the two second period i'm regenerating uh about 50 percent of my life a second which is a lot right that that, that is a very large number um, and that's kind of my solution now i just need to figure out what problem to solve with it um there's a couple of things to keep in mind this flask uses 30 charges this flask uses 20 charges and if you switch the order of these flasks, then you have sadness, right? So this is the normal order. If we do it in this order instead, uh, we wait for the flask to expire. It will take a little bit of time. It's a six second flask. One of the drawbacks of the changes is that testing with flasks has in a way gotten a little bit slower with the increased durations. Doom, 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 doom. So I pop my one flask and I have one life last. Uh, and then and my energy shield goes away. Um, right, so this is this is bad. We don't want this behavior. We don't want our forbidden taste to trigger our coarsating elixir. We want it to be the other way around. So in reality, this is probably where they're going to end up because that way there's no other flasks next to forbidden taste. And then I just need the flask to trigger it. Now, this is 20 flask charges. This is 30 flask charges. So the flask you want to trigger it with should have more flask charges than that. This is a, a bad example, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to use this flask. But it, the nice thing is it has 40 flask charges. So if we have a distribution of charges gained, right, which you normally would see during normal gameplay, then we could trigger our tree flask when full, and then that triggers the four flask, because the adjacent flask is triggered, the four flask should be full because it uses fewer charges than the three flask. And the five flask also has fewer charges used than the three flask. So ideally, that would mean that we can run flask number three on trigger when full, which will then pop number four, which will then pop number five. And we, if we can then pop all three flasks consistently every two, two seconds, we have 50% regen uh, out of these two flasks. Plus, you know, it, it's a little bit better than that. Like you have, you take away all the life, the life becomes regen, but you also heal to full. It's a little bit nicer than just 50% regen, but it's, you know, 50% regen is pretty good. Um, so now the question is, like, how do you gain these flask charges, right? Like, every two seconds, we need 50 charges for these two, plus then at least 30 charges for the other one. So it's 80 charges every two seconds. Well, we have a way for that. We can gain a flask charge whenever we deal critical strike. Well, that's fancy. That's only one flask charge. Now, it doesn't tell you how often. It's probably 8 to 10 times a second. 
Right, so even with 100% increased flash charges gained, that's only 20 flash charges a second. That's not enough. Um, so the next question is, how, how do we up this? Well, you can actually get this mod in on five different spots. You can get it on a belt from uh, whatever, the poison guy, uh, hunter, hunter mod. You can get it on a watcher's eye jewel, which is conditional. You can get it on um, rings, also conditional, and the rings are hard to get. They're like the, the, the three-piece rings you piece together. It's not a mod people are looking for, so it might not be that bad. Um, and then you can get it over here on the tree, right? So we can get it from <laughs> yeah, oh, Watcher's Eye, three very expensive uniques, uh, a Hunter mod, and here. Well, that's not ideal. It's, but it might be reasonable to say we can get three of these, right? Well, let's say what it looks like with two of them. With two of them, we can gain, if we can trigger uh, 10 times a second, that is 20 flash charges a second. 100% uh, increased flash charges gained, not too hard to get. So now we're looking at having 40 flash charges a second. Uh, in two seconds, you should see 80 flash charges, 80 flash charges. Well, this is almost enough, right? Because we care about the fact that we can get to 30 plus 20, so that's 50, and this probably should be more than 30, so probably like 35 or 40. Um, so we need 90, and we're at 80. So we can get there that way. Um, of course, there's also reduced flash charges used, 10% here, and then 5% um, here, and we can get some on the tree, which again, we can probably get to the point where if we crit enough, we can put a more expensive flask in slot three, and then trigger four and trigger five. Um, but we have to deal a lot of critical hits, and we have to deal critical hits incredibly frequently, so that we really can get pretty close to getting all those flask charges uh, per second. Um, we also have 20% chance for flask not to consume charges. This one's difficult. And the reason for that is, I, I don't know if you want this. Um, this, this, might, this might be actually something that will break the character. So what would happen if we have three trigger when full, the, so the third flask trigger when full, uh, and it doesn't consume charges, but four does and five does. Well, then it triggers again. Uh, now four has 10 charges left and five has no charges left. And if you're really unlucky, it triggers again. <laughs> oh boy, uh, now what? Right, because was, these flasks are getting empty, uh, whereas my three flask is, is full. Um, so chance not to consume charges might be a really big issue for this character. Like that, that might break the character. Uh, so I might not be able to take Nature's Boon, which means I can't take Master Alchemist. Um, which of course means you have to start looking at the other nodes. So that's, this is kind of where my thinking is at right now. It's, this is an interaction that I've been eyeing for a while. Um, I actually used this to with minion instability. Uh, this character actually used Mother's Embrace. <laughs> and the idea was that I remove all the life, then I give him back 75% of life, and that takes care of 25% of the life that I have to do damage to my minions to get them to explode. Um, so in this case, I'll actually be doing this to myself, but I'm going to be reversing the order. Well, actually, not in the same order, uh, but making it so I have this massive regen bonus. But now I need to use for the regen as well. So, still tinkering. Not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, kind of want to be looking in this direction. As far as nodes that will be factored in this, I mean, careful conservationists, of course. This thing is, is a bit of a no-brainer. 30% uh, increased flash charge, or 20% increased flash charge is used. 10% reduced flash charge is used. Like, that's 
amazing. Um, these two nodes are good as well. These nodes I'm not sure about. These nodes might factor into it. And then there's a whole bunch of I don't know where this build is going to go. Uh, maybe I'll end up in this part of the tree. Essence extraction is of course amazing. Um, but it's pretty expensive to get to. Especially if Mind of a Matter doesn't really factor into it. Right? We don't need more <laughs> mitigation. We have 50% regen. Um, it should be enough to survive most things. So, yeah. We'll see how things go. But this is this is where we're at. Um, as far as to like what would happen if we actually take damage. Well, if we have two hit points, right? And we trigger flash number... We have a very grouchy baby this morning. And my wife is looking at the baby right now next to me. Um... If you have two hit points and you trigger flash number four, well, then your regen gets tanked, but you still heal to full, right? So if this happens, that's fine. If this happens more often than once every two seconds, that's not necessarily bad either, um, right? It just means that this, this full heal becomes more of a factor. We're not really just using the regen. Now we could just trigger this flask, right? We can just say like, hey, let's just skip all the other garbage. Let's just uh, worry about the crits getting us charges and those charges only triggering forbidden taste and we trigger one full, just one flask. Well, that's cool, except that our, our, our life total is gonna look pretty uncomfortable, right? We're gonna very frequently trigger this and get a full heal. Like, we'll fully heal once a second-ish. Um, but if anything slows us down, or there's DGNs or things like that, that could really add up. Um, oh, and now the baby has food, so it will be quiet. I can't do that. I can do flasks, but she's not old enough for that. Anyway, so, yeah, kind of looking at this. So I'm I'm really looking for something that can really leverage this this massive regeneration. So I'm I'm kind of looking at ways that inflict a massive degen on my character and and make that pay off. Right? And I'm not talking like righteous fire. Like righteous fire just doesn't have a big enough degen. This 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 is way higher than that. For righteous fire like if you have 25% regen, you're fine. We're talking about 50% regen, right? So, so Righteous Fire Plus, like how do we get there? Um, yeah, we'll figure out how to, how to make it work. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I think this is going to be interesting to build around. I just don't know where I'm going to go. Ignore the rest of the tree. This is just a character that I cannibalized to, to test this out and to test out this interaction. And um, I hope the next league is going to have interesting changes. I don't care if they're buffs or nerfs. I just want things to be different. <laughs>